Okay. It looks like uh, Steve's here. Though. Let me bring him up and see. Um, hey, it's hey, you. It's you? really you. Okay. I wasn't sure because we can't <laughs> see you in chat. No, I, I had some people uh, texting me saying that, you know, re suggesting I join, I guess. And uh, hey, I heard you mention that you'd reached out to me before and hadn't heard back. I, I never got that message. If you did, I apologize. No, you, you got back, but I asked you to come on the show. You just didn't answer the show, but you did get back to me. You oh. sent me a nice message on Twitter, but I said, Hey, if you want to come on, but you just didn't mention. Come oh on. yeah. So I was, you know, until today is the first time I've really spoke since, you know, it happened. I just kind of, um, I've been dealing with the family and stuff. So, um, I, I just figured today I'd give some input what I may, you know, know to, to kind of. Yeah. What do you know, man? I heard you were, okay. I was getting emails and I didn't want to say anything because I couldn't verify it, but mm -hmm. I was getting emails that Tell me if this is true or not that you were on another channel verifying that that was indeed Jagger. Is that true? No, no, that's getting taken completely out of context. Wow, that, okay. So just so you know, so there's a group out there that follows me from case to case to case, and this is all they do. They try to describe me. What I said was, um, when we were at the recovery site, um, Doug from Adventures with Purpose took us off to the side. Now keep in mind, we had you know the reason I I told this is because we had no idea that he was mic'd, um, that it was really a hot set, you know, and uh, it was being filmed and everything. So he took us aside and he told us the story about the tow truck driver or the uh, service driver. And um, he, I know that they've said that, that, you know, well, we want to keep, you know, this person's identity private, even though they've described Jagger to a T, but to us, but I just disclose because this is the truth is he said that they showed the tow truck driver a photo of Jagger and the tow truck driver said, that's him. Now, just so you know, so everybody's clear, I do not buy the story. So oh, I'm not, okay. I'm not confirming it. I'm saying that that is what they told us that he, he confirmed it. Um, wow. I don't, I don't think, I don't, I'm not saying that they lied about it. I just don't, I'm so sorry. You know, what were y'all talking about? So he said that he. So they, they kept. You said it was an open mic, so you heard it, right? You, well, you're not supposed to. No. Well, when they when the Adventures of Purpose came out with that video, um, you know, our voices are on there, so obviously they were they were microphoned. But Doug and everybody, we had no idea when we showed up there, you know, that we were being recorded. So what I just told everybody was, hey, listen, you know, in that conversation, they did say that Jagger was the guy, and, and I said to everybody was like, I think everybody needs to, like, dial this back on Jagger a, a little bit because nothing's been proven, you know. Like, I mean, um. So I they showed the tow truck or the roadside assistant guy they showed him the picture of jagger and he confirmed that he said that that was him that's what they said that they they that's what the story how it was told to us it was slightly different you know than what was in in the video um it was you know um he, he said that the tow truck driver said that um he felt that she was drugged and um you know it was completely incoherent he did say the seatbelt thing like it's been disclosed like she couldn't figure out how to work she asked how to work the seatbelts but he said that he started filming her because he felt that she had been like roofied or, or something oh. but you know there's some it's important parts about that are um you know, I was staying in the same hotel as the FBI card team, right? You know, the child uh, abduction rapid deployment team. I mean, they're tops in the world, US Marshals, um, Homeland Security was there and they got this lead. Now we were told that they gave it to law enforcement the day after they spoke to the guy, but in the video it said, the guy says he gave it to them a week earlier. So I don't know which is true, but either way, it would, it would take FBI hours to verify that because we were also told it's AAA. You know, they didn't use the vague um, it was thing. Like, yeah, and oh, law enforcement. Well, okay. I didn't know that for sure, it's AAA, okay. Yeah, and after, um. After Adventures with Purpose was told to leave the site, um, the FBI came over to me, as did Nevada County Sheriff, and they wanted to know exactly what we've been told, you know, about the AAA lead, and they used AAA. So, you know, I, I don't know. I think they, they went out immediately, and they, they would have pulled that video. Um, and let's say that they were building a case. If Jagger was on that video, lying to the FBI is a crime in itself, and he said he was in Napa. So they would have locked him up temporarily on that. You know, they would have been able to hold him on that, because lying to the FBI is a federal crime. So I, I have some doubts about that, I guess is what I'm saying. Okay. Huh. Do you have any, okay, so let me back up a little bit. So when you said, when they told us, so did the family know about this tip then? So that that was told, yeah, because that that was told to us in the first five minutes. When when, when I got word that was on social media that she'd been found, the car had been found, I was with um, Kylie's dad and grandfather. And I got a call about it and I had to tell them. And then we went, we were two minutes from their location because we were, in the, we were up by the party location. We went down there. And in fact, they showed in the video, you know, her father's on the quad runner going down and then um, um, we're, right behind him. And so he told us that story pretty quick because he asked, um, you know, if you guys had to suspect anybody, who would you suspect? And, you know, it was, and, and now it kind of makes sense that it was being recorded, like why those questions were being asked. But, but yeah, so the father and the grandfather both ran on that conversation. Okay. Hmm, yeah. That's interesting. So I don't even know what to ask. Cause I know you, you, you don't think that there was any foul play, right? You think there was just well, an I, I, you know, up until a few days ago, let, let me define like what I can, like when I say accident, I, I do not rule out, and I think it's very possible that there was there could have been somebody else in the car. There could have been a car behind them, and it could have sideswiped them. And then you know she goes in the water and it can't get out. I don't think that it was intentional. I don't think this was an intentional homicide. Uh, I don't think that she was killed and, and rolled into the water. Um, I do not discount. I think there's a very good possibility that somebody saw this and, and they didn't know what to do, you know, and and, and left. Um, but accidental in the sense that this was not meant to happen.
So you don't, th- uh, just, uh, just so I'm, I'm sorry, I'm over here freaking texting people about the UFC fight. Uh, okay. So uh, you do you think or do you think or not think uh, the tow truck driver slash AAA or AAA person? You think he's telling the truth or you think he's lying? I don't. I don't think it's accurate. Uh, I don't think. I think if he if he did indeed uh, service a car out there, I think that it was somebody else. I, I don't think there's any way because here's right. the thing: the phone the phone pings. It, you know, I was given the cell phone ping location um, when I got to Truckee, and it's 50 yards from where that car was found. So that means, and also keep in mind, like the phone records, like the Verizon phone records, so they've been accessed, and so is their social media and everything like that. So the location, you know, the, so the phone has to go in the water before she went to the party she stopped and got two gallons of gas she was almost and she that was her normal kind of routine like you know a 16 hmm. year old you know she, uh, being 16 you know so so they knew that the radius was no stop, more do you know where she stopped at which gas station um yeah so she lives by a um um not a texaco but or, um uh, she, she lives by at the end of um cold stream if you look at it on a map right at the 80 oh. and um cold stream, there's a um pretty sure it's a it's either chevron or it's one of those um right there oh like a truck stop no, this is a regular one. Now, now the surveillance photo was taken at a, a truck stop. Mm. Um, um, but she got the gas at a different. So, so they they pulled the, they immediately pulled the surveillance photos from all the gas stations within mm. what they figured was the radius that she could go on two gallons of gas. And yeah. you know, so nothing um, nothing came up there. Um, and and they you know they got the AAA. You know they um, they've got all the dispatch records. They've got the video. They've got all that. And you know, as of three days ago, I know that they. Well, I mean, I'll tell this. So I got a lead from somebody that emailed me a lead saying that they knew somebody, they were aware that somebody murdered her and they gave the person's identity and everything. It seemed like, I don't think it's credible, but I have to turn all that over to FBI and everything. So mm-hmm. when I contacted the FBI about five or six days ago and her family about it, the FBI replied back, you know, get a hold of Nevada County because we, we have it closed on our Then the FBI told somebody to get a hold of a lesser? Damn. Of who? A lesser? Oh, yeah. Well, they said that they're, they said that they're, they're, their investigations you know, wrapped up. So, so, I mean, so we went, it went to Nevada and then Nevada did contact me about it. And then her dad talked to them about it. And, you know, I know that the last word was they have no reason right they now. Have to cop? Believe, uh, no, private investigator, Damn. but they, they have no reason to believe it's, um, foul, you know, foul play, but you know, I can't say hundred percent certainty. I just, there's nothing that I, at the beginning, I definitely was leaving that way. I just, I don't see anything that really, but what about what I don't found though? Like you don't find that suspicious though. Like Wait, where she part? was found. Um, I think the, yeah. the the passenger side window was busted out before because there's only one pile of glass. Now that those divers are going down there, they're saying there's just one pile of glass. It looks like yeah. where they flipped over the car and it's the driver or the driver side broke. So where where did that window break out from? Like, so I that happened before. So eventually, purpose won't talk with me anymore. So and they, um, but from what I heard that I heard on a live stream today or yesterday, they they actually clarified that the passenger window was down but not broken out. Um, and what we were told when we arrived on scene is that the passenger window was down and that the rear driver passenger was three quarters of the way down the dude wiped um, it off yeah i mean you can video, see what they're down he, he even says window. underwater yeah he, he underwater wipes. he says broke Go he, find yeah he wipes the other window too with his hand yeah i don't know today i mean i heard somebody sent me a uh a clip i could try and find it in the score somebody sent me a clip for today he's like he said um or it might have been yesterday i apologize he, he seemed to walk that back and say and this was um actually actually i think it was on grizzly show um he seemed to walk it back and say that it was it was down. He, I, I don't know though. I mean, it, it does keep going back and forth. Oh um, wait a minute! What about this? What if, what if, the what if they're calling him the tow truck driver to defer the fact that he was actually in a van to give a different visual? What if the what if the AAA driver was a real person, which is why he was parked waiting around? Because then if that would if if Jagger would have been the guy there, they would have had to have two phones, which would have made. Which would have made the tow truck uh, slash uh, AAA driver's story correct. Then he said he's the only reason he knew about it was because of seeing a picture of it in a coffee shop and was like, "Wait a minute, that's that girl, right, dude? What what if he's telling the truth? Because that would make sense on why he he pinpointed him perfectly. Because why would you overshoot it to make yourself even look more guilty unless you're telling the truth? You know? Yeah, I mean, I think I don't know why. What do you I'm think? I investigate. I, I I didn't completely follow that to be honest. So um, what if? Okay, I'll say it again. I'll say it. I'll say it quicker. Yeah. All right. So what if? If you if you if we say uh, the the van driver, so you know how everybody was calling him a tow truck driver. Yeah. Okay. So a tow truck is not a van. They're they're two separate things. Right. So whoever whoever started the hey it's a tow truck driver thing, uh, I don't know who that is, but that's kind of weird because he wasn't driving a tow truck, right? Right. So if he was a AAA person, that would make more sense because he was there to charge a battery, like he said, right? So that makes that make sense. Then, if there was two phones to make this happen, the the the, the car in the water thing, and Kylie's phone was uh, quote unquote smashed or lost or whatever. Yeah. That was that would be why the tow truck driver said her phone was dead when he tried to call back and it didn't answer, so he had to call another number because it was somebody well, from the other phone calling him. They had the fucking number off the other phone that they smashed and got rid of. Well, he said that I think he said that she 
called from somebody else's phone because she said hers was dead. Yeah, um, but if she was dead, then she can't though. But but he also said, I mean, this, I, you know, listen, I'm just you know, pointing out something. He also said that he was there to service a dead battery, but then they figured out it was really that the car was in neutral, not a dead battery. But then he says, then he told her to keep it running for two hours, but you didn't have to right, charge that, the battery. That's what I'm saying. Like, look, look what they're doing. They're, they showed up, and then if you if you look at both stories. That would be that would that would explain why they went back and forth and was he, that he was at, that they were acting weird and he was like bro they were acting fucking weird bro that's because what do you want to bet the two motherfuckers that was sitting right there was Jagger and Kate and what's her name was in the back that's why he gave the description of what looks exactly like Jagger and Kate <laughs> and if he don't know nothing about it of course he's gonna be like oh yeah blonde headed girl uh, silver CRV dude that was like a week ago I, I went and serviced that car it was really weird because I called then I couldn't get a hold of them so I had to sit around for a minute they called me from another number that's one phone smash call with the other phone with the number you got off the phone you just smashed it fits perfect like a puzzle piece. Can yeah, I, but I, I, the F, yeah. <laughs> okay, so oh, wow. has it been verified that it was Kylie's car? What has it been verified that it was Kylie's car? No, that's that's the whole thing. But my point is that the FBI went to AAA immediately, and, and they would have dispatch records. You know, whoever ordered the service would be a policyholder because that's an insurance product. The, the guy said that there was video, rear, and audio. You know, they went and got this information right away. I mean, they were on top of stuff. Like, I know that there was a guy that um, Kylie had, had met in mexico and, and they were just they wanted to, just because she just briefly met him they in tracked mexico? him down oh i didn't know that okay i didn't hear that she, she met him in mexico, mexico? She, no i mean she was in mexico on vacation um like a week before she went missing she had gone down there with a mags max bomb but you know like they investigated everybody like they tracked them down instantly when met with them you can bet that something like this um i mean i know that they did they went out and pulled all those records and the fact that they're not just pinging around everybody you know like it, they're, they're not interested that, that lead is not of interest anymore did they, did they um in, what lead's not interested interview jagger oh, sorry yeah, go ahead oh, sorry. Didn't no, no, question mine, but did they interview jagger did the fbi talk to jagger at all do you know yes, oh, they yes. Did? oh yeah they've talked to all they, they've talked to, to they've interviewed the, all the family all their all the friends and everything yeah oh, so did. everybody that all the names that you'll hear like that they are being mentioned you know like kate and even like nate and all those people they've all been interviewed yeah yeah i mean they had they had 45 when i was at the hotel i know they had 45 just FBI alone uh, there. That doesn't include, you know, there's three other agencies involved as well. I mean, they were they were talking to everybody. Mm. So once they found the car, they just now they think it's an accident. Because I mean, no, no, definitely not. I mean, they processed it. You know, I mean, we were there a long time. I mean, they processed it as a crime scene. They told us they said, you know, this is this is a crime scene. You know, they're and that's how they processed it. They brought in the FBI crime lab. That black, it's a black trailer you've seen over at shot. They brought that in from San Francisco. It took them like three or four hours to get it there. That was kind of the delay in in uh, pulling the car out. One of the delays of getting the car out. Um, they definitely um, investigated it as a crime. I just don't think that they found anything that really suggests that. Now, listen, I how she ended up there is I, I don't get. You know, it, it's a it's a. I mean, I've, I've been there enough. It's a weird series of turns to make. Unless she came down the beach from the other side, and the only way I could see that happening is if she, there was like other cars with her and they were playing around. They were known to kind of like fuck around with, in cars, you know, and like. What do you think? Stuff. What do you What do you think about the laptop guy? That that's so. Um, so he. Um, he called me when he found that because he's like, I have no idea what. I have what a question. To do. How are all yeah. these people able to call you? Well, he um, he's somebody I met him when um, one time when I was out there. Um, he, uh, he he had been searching and he uh, DM'd me. And, well, he kept leaving comments saying, "I DM'd you, please check, please check." Please. And then he and then um, he's like, "Hey, you remember me?" And this and, and I did remember who he was. And he said, "I need to find this laptop. I'm trying to get a hold of law enforcement. I cannot get through to anybody." So I called Detective Sonier, who's the lead detective on it, and let him know about it. And then. Um, uh, then I called. Then I called her uh, Kylie's father and grandfather, and the grandfather went out there immediately. And um, which you know, one is, uh, just out of curiosity, and uh, it's just because I keep seeing like different stuff uh, on the internet. Which one is the dad, and which one's the grandpa? Uh, David David Robinson is the grandfather, and Daniel Rodney is her, her bio guy. Gotcha. Right. Hey Zav. Yeah. Can I say something? Yeah. Go ahead. Um, I just wanted to email you about the windshield. Oh, okay. Go I, ahead. Then, I just, oh, you want to ask him that? Well, I just find it odd that nobody has mentioned this crack in the windshield about the steering wheel. It's a circular pattern. The window's intact. But it's quite, it's obvious that that window is dented. Crap, you smash, however you want to word it. So I've always pictured this was a tragic accident. Having four daughters myself between the age of, ages of 18 and 26. Mm -hmm. I can imagine them, God forbid, I don't know if she was drinking or not, but even if she not. Was. Okay, so we'll say she was drinking. Even if not, driving in that area, it, it just seems like it was a wrong turn. Maybe she flew, you know how even people have tried to go up that hill and they've gone down and gone, almost gone, gone into the water. Mm -hmm. It's almost as if she was maybe going fast, didn't have her seatbelt on, went up over that embankment, down maybe unfortunately no way. smacked into the windshield, knocking herself out no, and possible. unable to get out. That's what I've always imagined. I possible. think the fact that her car being seen 12 hours later at Boca is 
completely ridiculous to even think that they, if something was fo- going, you know, if there was follow play, why would they stay in that area for 12 hours with her car Reverse or got her backwards. car and her body in the back? It just makes no logical sense. Well, they wouldn't have a choice. I mean, they're probably like, what do you do? Like, they're probably trying to figure like, out what to do. I could see but that. That's a long time. Why they don't. You know, I know, at that time, not a long time. It was just the next morning. What do you mean? Mm. Probably wasn't that's a long time though to have. It got to be you had a dead body in the car to just be. Yes, is it possible? Yes, but it's just not probable. If, hey, Zav, if you reverse the story that's been told, so if you the story that we know right now, if you look at it from front to back, it makes no sense. If you flip the story and do it from back to front, it makes perfect sense. There wasn't a party. They were seen at Boca. After they were seen at Boca, car gets dumped. Car gets dumped. They create a party. Everyone leaves. That's 